Hi and welcome to another tutorial on coding in C Sharp language. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add comments to your code. So um, basically what we've got here is we've got some code left off from where we left off from the previous tutorial and so basically we're assigning some values to variables, we're doing some addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, mod um, and so on. So not too much um, crazy stuff going on here at the moment but it is good to comment our code um, so that if we write some code, um, maybe we do some more tricky stuff and we look at that code a week later after we've written it, we might actually forget exactly what it was doing and how it worked. Or we might write some code and then down the track somebody else needs to read our code and understand how it works. So sometimes it's a good idea to write comments explaining what's going on in your code. And to do that, um, we can, we can write the comments right in our code and um, the program won't actually um, do anything with those comments. They won't be displayed as output or anything like that. They'll just be hidden um, and only visible when we actually read the source code. Okay, and to write co uh, comments, we can use double forward slash and we can, maybe at the start of our program, we can use a comment to explain what the program's about or um, the author or the date it was written. So it could say something like um, modified Friday 11th November 2016 or something like that. Okay. We can also add comments um, on uh, existing lines. So we don't need to have a comment on a line of its own. We could put a comment after this um, assignment here where we're assigning this value to the num1 variable. And we could say something like um, assign value to num1 variable. Okay, we could do something like this here as well, assign value to num2, assign value to num2 variable. So we can explain what's going on there. And here we could say something like add numbers, um, subtract, multiply, divide, um, Oops, mod, and so on. So just adding comments, explaining what's going on in our code. Um, and it's up to you really how you use your comments. You might not want to add comments on every single line explaining what's going on, um, but just where it's necessary, um, future maintenance of your code um, to understand what's going on. Um, so it can be quite useful to add comments. So basically whatever you type after the two forward slashes on a line is going to be treated as code. It's kind of grayed out um, and it's not going to be processed when you run this application. If we run this application, it's going to do what it was already doing before in the previous tutorial. We don't actually see any of the comments in the, the output. Okay. Um, so if I'll just show you, if I put forward slashes here, it's going to actually make the rest of this whole line a comment. So everything on this line after the two forward slashes is going to be a comment, which means that this num1 variable no longer exists because it's not created here on this line. It's just part of a comment. And that's why we're getting these little red underlines here. Um, and if we mouse over, it says the name num1 does not exist in the current context. That's because we haven't actually created the variable because it's in a comment. So we can get rid of that comment here and that fixes that problem. Okay, so that's how to comment your code in the C-sharp language. Thanks for watching.